That's about a three thousand dollar cart right there. Okay, got it. I've always been stuck with this job. Cause your luggage is like eight hundred pounds. <laughs> what do you stick like? Whoa, 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 whoa! Watch that. Uh -huh. And that's why people Crazy. invest in travel gear. You first or me? You. Oh. Or nobody. Oh yeah. So in case you guys are wondering, we are not dressed appropriately to go fishing today. Nope, not at all. Because today's a big day. You wanna know why? Why? We are buying a boat! You guys, we found our Dream Center console, at least a starter boat, and we are psyched uh, to... Hold on one second. <laughs> we made it outside, you guys. We are alive. We've got all of our poles in cash. Our gear. All right, y'all. So sorry, that elevator situation was a little crazy. Quick intermission. But we are buying the boat. Yes, We're you guys. Boat. Center console, y'all. 178 DLV, sweet V hole in it, uh, which is going to be awesome for not only bass fishing, but to get out there in some little bit rougher water, uh, doing some inshore fishing. I'm really excited. We're about to go to the bank, get our cashier's check, and then we're headed to uh, the boat dealership to pick up our boat. All right, we are at good old Bank of America. Take out our loan. Get our book. Whoa, check that out. That's cool. Let's stick your head up in there. That is sweet. Oh, wow. Do you think you could scuba dive in that? Or would you, like, freak out? No, I could totally do it. Really Just got the Modi Bar boat, you guys. Alright, you guys, check it out. This is our Carolina skiff. It's our new boat. It's our new skiff. DLV. And we're gonna get up in it. Uh, this is like perfect for all the fishing that we do. Yep, you guys. Pristine, it is the base model, exactly what we're looking for. It's got some bells and whistles with our Garmin, which will be super handy while we're out there so I can navigate and get to those fish faster. Um, trolling motor is perfect for getting out there for some bass fishing, and basically this is really all we need to get, to get out there and catch fish. That's right, inshore, flounder, drum, tarpon. When we Ooh. come down to Florida, we can take this thing out right in the flats. Um, we can even take it off because it's got like a deeper kind of uh, hole. hole to it. Yeah, exactly. There we go. We're learning the boat lingo. <laughs> hole, beam, port side, starboard, you all that stuff. All that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yep. So it's pretty pretty basic, but that's exactly what we wanted. So now that we showed you guys our boat, we're going to give you a tour of our new boat. This is our new home. Yep. Christy and I, we don't even just live on this boat. We're just going to... We're going to sleep here. We're just going to sleep on it. So let's start in the back. This is kind of like, you know, starting in the mud room. You know what I mean? It's like the garage. So we've got our engine right here, which is a four-stroke. It's a 90. And that's plenty enough to get us out um, on a, like, calm day. We can get out into the bay. We can get out into the ocean. Uh, totally enough to get around the lakes and all that other stuff that we do. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, we really wanted a Suzuki heard that, well, at least for me, uh, I think that they're one of the better brands out there. I don't know what you guys prefer, but we are Suzuki people. And it's fuel injected, so fuel that's injected, really all we care about. Which is great. Yep, and we have these nice storage compartments back here. Yep, got um, our live well. Got the live well. We can put all of our live ramp. Uh, we even have our fish measuring. We, got, we can officially measure our fish. Oh, so, yeah, so the back platform okay, check it out. is They've great. Got a couple more Ooh, in here. We've got additional rod holders. Yep. Perfect. So the black back platform is great. Got some nice rod holders for some heavier action, heavier duty stuff right here. Yep. And then uh, we've got our, this is our, uh, most center consoles have seats like this where okay. it kind of doubles over as like, we've got our um, cooler, our cooler here. right here. It's so, going to hold all of our fish and that's right. my snacks. And so when we lot. gaff our cobia right here and we just go boom straight into the cooler right there. Um, 
So kind of our main, uh, the center console here as Christy is modeling right here. Um, so we've got a Garmin, just basic. That's, this is exactly what we wanted. We just wanted a basic boat to get us out onto the water. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, efficiency is what we're looking for. We're not looking for a, you know, like all the bells and whistles. So for all of y'all who are just looking to get on the water, this is a great option. Um, so we spend a lot of time just making sure, you always wanna make sure that like all of your gauges obviously work. Um, that uh, even, you know, just, just how it steers, is it is it kind of tight, is it loose? Um, we've got all of our accessories. Again, very basic. We want to minimize things that can break and just maximize fish catching potential. So a solid boat that floats with, you know, minimal accessories. So the things that you do want, however, are this. You do want a radio. Um, you do want the right safety equipment. So we do have that on there. Um, and that's pretty much it right here for the middle, middle piece. And then we've got just kind of like our rod holders right here. So that's nice. And moving up to the front. We've um, just got two basic storage units up here, which is great for, uh, Storage. Yeah, for storage. That's it. Yep. And then, of course, we've got our you know fishing platform up here. We can remove that seat and fish from that. And the trolling motor will get installed, put up there for the iPilot. So that's pretty much it, people. Thank you for aborting the USS Dolphin Dancer. That's right. We christened the Dolphin Dancer. Yes. So. Oh yeah, we didn't tell y'all what we named it yet. That's right. Jeff named it.